Welcome to Daggy Made Easy. I'm your host Ching En. This is a bite-sized companion where you can learn anything and everything there's to know about Daggy. Come along with me as we uncover the power of Daggy and feel the heartbeat of Taiwan. Welcome again to the show. This episode is a continuation of my chat with Yu Chen. In this week's episode, Yu Chen will share more of his thoughts and observations about the booming Daiyi cultural scenes in Taiwan recently. What kind of activities or what events that you participated, which are like directly related to Daiyi? I I love music. I love listening to a lot of indie bands from Taiwan. And so, going to a lot of their concerts or music festivals, you find that a lot of like the really popular bands—they're mm. all singing in Taiyi these days. Not even just their songs or their lyrics are done in the language, but a lot of Taiwanese artists love to talk to the audience and like share kind of their thoughts, share kind of their creative processes on stage in between their like musical numbers, right? More and more of them have been doing this in Taiwanese, and so I really wanted to be able to understand what they're saying and like be with them in that moment. And so, like the language really became a barrier for me. Something more recent, Taiwan has just gone through its presidential elections, and so obviously there has been a lot of like campaign rallies going on.、Um, they would pop up anywhere and everywhere. A lot of them have been using the Taiwanese language on stage to kind of like. Talk about their platforms, talk about their policies, and connecting with their voters in the audiences. I I work at a TV station.、Um, I work specifically in the news department, so it's really imperative for my work to be able to understand like what these politicians are saying to their people, to their voters. Can you share Daiyi songs, poem, drama, or any other forms of popular culture you really like or you really enjoy to our audience? Yeah, my favorite piece of Taiwanese media, I think, for the past year, or it's this musical that's called "Don't Cry, Dancing Girls." Chen Shi San Jie Mei, and it's about this family of three sisters who essentially just learned that their father had passed away. Um, and they received a request to pick up their father's mantle and perform this traditional Taiwanese ritual that basically escorts the spirits into the underworld, so that their father can like pass away safely. I think it's a very beautiful story about like intergenerational reconciliation. It's about three siblings who grew up without parents essentially, and they had to like parent each other and all the conflicts that come with that, and all of the stigma. That comes with that as well from like the people around them.、Um, so it's a story about strength. It's a story about resilience. It's a story about like finding and like reconnecting with your roots. And I find it really beautiful. So that's my favorite. That and I would recommend anyone and everyone to go see it. What does Daigi mean to you, or how would you define Daigi? I think of Daigi as a collective goal that. Portion of Taiwanese society is working towards. It's like a collective dream to me, almost, because I think there are a lot of people who are pouring their entire lives' works into this language, not necessarily doing the work of education, but just injecting the language into more aspects of our everyday lives and actively trying to use it more frequently. I think of it as a collective dream because. There was this sense that so much was lost from Taiwanese society because the majority of our population has lost the language ability. To me, it felt like a lot of the fight has been to attempting to restore a lot of, or remember even, not even restore, but we just need to remember people who came before us, what it meant to them to be a Taiwanese person, to speak the Taiwanese language under authoritarianism, when it would be. A crime to embrace this culture, to embody this culture. That wraps up our conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to tune in next Friday as we learn more about Daiyi.